Blizzard's official survival guide video for S-Lands. Welcome to the World of Warcraft survival guide for Shadowlands, our yes. upcoming expansion in which you'll explore the uncharted realms of death beyond Azeroth. In this video, Damn. we'll take a look at the new features and changes coming in Shadowlands, including five new zones, customizable legendary items. Let me look at the legendary item real quick. Customize item level 190 replaces Tempar's verdict with final verdict. The devastating strike has 50 percent. That's cool. Damn. Legendary items, Covenants, a new arena, Ooh. and Torghast, Tower of the Damned. After cleansing Azeroth Damn. of the remaining vestiges of the old god Nizoth, we again find ourselves in grave circumstances. Oh no. The fallen horde war chief Sylvanas has sundered the veil between worlds. Dumb and bitch. Azeroth's greatest heroes are pulled into the Shadowlands. Yoinked Here, into the Shadowlands. We confront the wonders and horrors of the afterlife with new yeah. found abilities as its inhabitants deal with the consequences of the Banshee Queen's actions. Adventurers who are level 48 or higher will receive a summon to meet with High Lord Bolvar Four Dragon in Ice Crown and kick off- Wait, the how's he still the high- how's he a High Lord? Bro, he was the Lich King! How they still have him as a High Lord? ...events that take them into the Shadowlands. When you go to the other side, you'll discover five new ethereal zones. Yeah. The gleaming fields of Bastion. I like the Bastion. The war-torn necrotic wastes of Maldraxxus. Boring. The twilight forests of cool. Ardenweald. The gothic spires of Revendreth. Yay. And the hopeless depths of the Maw. As you travel through each realm, you'll meet memorable characters along wow. the way and help the ruling four covenants restore order to the Shadowlands. Wow. Upon reaching max level, you'll be able to pledge yourself to either the Kyrian, Necrolord, nice. Night Fae, or Venthyr Covenant. Each covenant offers its champions two special abilities. Okay. A signature ability and a yeah. class ability that will change your playstyle in a significant way. And change the way that you get into groups, too. It's like, no, man, you can't join if you have this. This is useless. Nobody wants to play with you like this. What the fuck, dude? Covenants will also provide you with other powers and cosmetic rewards. Let's talk about that the cosmetic. Oh, a covenant dude. Campaign, an epic storyline unique to the faction, along yeah. with access to your Covenant Sanctum, a hall only accessible to players who have forged a pact with its rulers. That is cool. When you join a covenant, you'll be able to undergo an ancient ritual called soul binding and merge your soul with its mightiest members. It's an ancient ritual By because it looks so, like talent. Your character is. harnesses their power, gaining access to formidable bonuses. Wow. Over time, you can unlock new tiers of power and even switch soul binds when strategy demands it. Yeah, I just hope that I, I hope they get rid of the uh, the fucking the weird like the conduit energy thing or something like that. Like, I, I just feel like it sounds like a mobile. It's like a mobile game or something like, oh, you have like only this much energy to change your conduits. Like, what the fuck? Like, I, I don't know why they do that. Like the whole thing, they will 9.3. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I just I look at it like I just want to be able to play what I want to play when I want to play it. It's not like it's some kind of crazy fucking super high-end mythic world first raider thing. I think that I'm advocating for a lot of casual players when I say that I just want to be able to pick whatever the fuck I want. Your soulbinds can further empower your abilities with conduits, which that, can be it. earned by completing content throughout the Shadowlands. Oh boy. Each covenant also offers a special activity only available to their members. Kyrians will test their metal in the path of ascension. Necrolords get to build their own cool. abomination. Yeah. Night Fae can tend to a celestial garden, and the Venthyr will host an elite invite-only gala and defend that's it me, from dude. devious party crashers in yeah. the Ember Court. That's that's me, dude. At the heart 100%. of the Maw stands Torghast, Tower of the Damned, a prison for the most vile souls in existence. Inspired by roguelikes, this highly replayable instance has an highly replayable. I'm glad they had to mention that. Um, I'm glad that they just say that it's inspired by it because it means that they're not trying to pretend like it's not. Like to me, that just makes me feel a little bit more confident about it because they're gonna look at it as like, okay, well, the whole idea we stole this whole idea, so we know we don't have a really big ego going into this. So we'll change whatever just to make it good.
Like, this is the way that I think that Blizzard used to do things, is that they would steal all the good ideas from other games, and then they would put them in their game instead. Like, I heard of this game, Hades. Is Actually, let's talk about that later. I'm not going to go off on a tangent right now. We'll, we'll talk about this now. First shifting interior that offers a different experience each time you enter. And with each floor cleared, you'll face stronger foes and yeah. gain new powers to take on the mounting challenges that the jailer that has. That gangly-ass motherfucker, dude. I actually, uh, I'm really excited for Torghast. I think that, really, more than anything in Shadowlands, I'm most excited for Torghast. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the main thing that I'm excited about. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, actually, you know what? I should do a poll and ask people what they are most excited about. Because to me, that that's the main thing I'm, I, I really, really want to see. Waiting for you. Vanquishing Torgas unhallowed halls will reward Ooh. you with crafting materials, which can be turned into powerful legendary is, gear dude. by the rune carver, whose power forged infamous instruments of death throughout the ages. Yeah. Completing content within Shadowlands will give you access to new powers, which you can select between to further empower your gear. I hope this, you to dude. I hope this is good, piece. man. I really Shadowlands do. Shadowlands also brings a new PvP arena, the Empyrean Domain where you'll do battle in the skies above Bastion and test your skill against equally powerful foes. I actually really like the new arena. I, I like the new arena. I think that it looks good. I don't think that it has some weird gimmick like uh, the Dalaran arena has with like the water coming down. I think that's stupid. Uh, I wasn't really a big fan of the Ring of Valor where the firewalls would come up. I thought that was stupid too. I, I like it's just a basic, simple arena. Wins in PvP will net you honor and conquest currencies, which you can use to purchase PvP gear from a vendor wow. in the new capital city, Oribos. What? You'll also discover Adventures, a tactical twist on previous expansion's missions, in oh, which yeah. you'll use a party of five troops to solve combat puzzles and earn rewards, including pets, mounts, gold, and more. See, they need to do this as like a phone app. Like, this is clearly a phone app. Like, why not put this in as a phone app, man? Mounts? Wait, you can get a mount? Wait, what? Was I missing something? Exposed. You'll also discover adventures, a tactical twist on previous expansion I didn't see missions, a mount. in which you'll use a party of five troops to solve combat puzzles and earn rewards, including pets, mounts, gold. Oh, I didn't wasn't even listening because I was thinking about what I was going to say. Yeah, well, listen, I, I just wish that they would make this as a fucking app. It's on the phone app? Great. That's awesome. That's actually such a good thing. Like, I'm actually gonna... That will make me download the app. Straight up. I will download the fucking WoW app now because they have this on there. Like, this, this is good. Like, everybody tries to like, oh, I don't want this because this is like a WoW... This is like a mobile game. Some... It, it's good. See, here's the thing. You want to keep people engaged with the game. You want people, whenever they go to Taco Bell, you want them to be thinking about WoW. And one way you can do that is if they can play it on their fucking phone. It's a good idea. I'm very happy that they're doing this. Old and more. To secure success, yeah. you'll need to place your companions strategically on the board. I like to it. counter threats and squash enemies. Shit. You can check in on your adventures on the go. Battle with the mobile for idea. App. I agree. Adventures will unlock after you choose your covenant at max level. Yeah. And that's just the beginning. When we next meet, we'll cover season one content for PvP, Ooh. Mythic Keystone Dungeons, Ooh. and the new raid, Castle Nathria. Keep an eye on worldofwarcraft.com for more details on upcoming content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the Shadowlands. I mean, honestly, everything about the expansion is looking really promising. I mean, like, everything here is, is great. Like, I'm really super excited to see it, and it's going to be awesome. Like, I, I don't like the, the Covenant thing, right, where, like, you have to pick out certain abilities. I think it's just going to lead to a bunch of problems, but... Fact is, like, I, I'm not really going to play the game at a really high level. Like, and also, I'll always be able to find groups because I'm like a streamer and shit. So it won't really affect me negatively. And I think I'll enjoy it. Now, an average player, it might affect them a lot worse. And I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of privileged in that way that I don't have to worry about it. But other than that, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, let me see here. I, I will go ahead and I'll look and I'll do a poll for this. Okay, straw poll. 
um straw poll and let's see what we've got here all right what are you most most excited oh i said i was gonna maybe play hey i was just think i was going to say that i might play hades on my second stream uh that's what i was going to say uh most excited for uh in shadowlands okay um castle nathria uh let me go ahead and look at this real quick i'll put this back on okay castle nathria um pvp i'm just gonna do pvp as a as one thing rather than like arena rbgs like fucking bgs whatever um let's see covenants uh quest lines uh quest lines etc uh let's see torgast torgast uh mythic plus mythic plus uh okay dungeons lore i kind of already have lore as well uh covenants quest lines how about kind of uh bonus content bonus content uh build and an a bomb etc uh that kind of stuff and let's see uh collection stuff collection stuff uh collection stuff mounts pets transmog etc okay all right is this a pretty good list i i think that it basically is right i would assume that it's a good list uh let's say like uh class gameplay class gameplay uh class gameplay legendaries uh tier sets maybe uh etc how about that stop the count stop the count wow what do you mean who's losing who's losing what's going on here Give me a second. All right, results. So Torghast, I guess maybe I might have influenced that vote. So Torghast is number one. Covenants is number two. And Class Gameplay is number three. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much what I would expect to see overall. I'm actually surprised that less people don't pick PvP, considering how many people are, I, I guess, like really looking forward to a lot of the changes in Shadowlands for PvP. But it might be just kind of a wait and see kind of thing. So I don't know. What do you guys think? PvP? Yeah, well, PvP isn't like a big part of the game, man. Like, I mean, for the most part, PvP used to feel like it was half the game, but now it's like 20 to 10%. Okay, like, let's be honest. Uh, for better or for worse, uh, PvP is not as big as it used to be. That's just what it is. Because your audience? Oh, yeah, I'm sure if you pulled Peekaboo's chat, they'd have a different they'd have a different decision. I'd see dude's chat, something like that. Yeah, of course. But for me, I think this is pretty much what I would expect to see. I, I'm positive about this, right? And at the end of the day, like, as I said, every expansion brings something that I don't like. And I remember Legion brought in, uh, you know, they brought in Titan Forging and the random legendaries. And I thought it was going to be absolute fucking garbage because of that. And I actually didn't like the expansion as much because of those changes. I was very upset about them and I didn't like them at all. And I still don't like them, but they got rid of those. And I think Shadowlands Covenants are going to be kind of that same thing for me, but I'm going to try to enjoy it as much as I can and just have fun and play the game in the way that I want.